Hey guys, it's JC's Reborn Journey here, and I'm here to show you another cooking video. So, right now I'm actually going to cook um, broccoli and fish. So, that's what I'm having for dinner tonight. So, let's get started. Need a pan, need foil. down so you can kind of see exactly what this thing is doing and bring it down so you can kind of see how I prepare it. Alright, so you're going to need garlic powder and this and butter. So I can use a hot stick. Grab a stick of butter, and I got these cute little cups. I'm gonna use this one today. Get this cute little cup, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a knife, and I'm gonna cut probably, um, I'm gonna do this right here, because we're also gonna use butter for um, the, um, And if you want, if you'd like, and I'll just move this back in here, you can add just a tiny bit of garlic powder. There we go. And a little bit of this. Until it looks like that. And then you just stick this in the microwave. 30 seconds. I get at the dollar store. So this happens to be the kind of fish I like, but I usually have two, but today I'm having one. You know why? Because I'm having some shrimp with it. So it's kind of a pain in the neck a little bit because now it was in a package and now I have to take it out of this package. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the, the uh, thing right now for 350. And you cook it for three, 15 minutes. <coughs> and I took it out of the package. I used a pair of scissors. It was the easiest thing. And what I do is I take a little bit of the garlic powder and a little bit of this stuff. Okay, so I'm going to stick this here like that. I've never cooked shrimp in the oven before, so we're going to try it. Let's see what happens. So, I'm going to take it from it frozen, and stick these in there, frozen. Ow. There we are. number is seven so I will have seven. Probably have more but we're gonna try and fancy these up today so let's see what happens. So the broccoli, I got this kind of broccoli, it's the only kind I have, but I like them in the package, it makes it very easy, you're going to steam these and you stick these right in the microwave, you have to uh, stab it a couple times, but what I do is I stab it a few times, 
two times. Then put it on a plate. Stick it on a plate. Stick it like this. And now you're going to just leave that in there until you're just about done. So now I'll just take the knife. I'm just going to stir that around just a little bit. And now I'm going to pour this. Now that it's um, hot. It's going to freeze to it. enough for now. I might need a little bit later. So now I'm gonna just gonna put a little bit of garlic powder on it. Oh, on both. Yeah, a little bit more. And then you're gonna put some of this on. And again, I'm using, there we go, there we go, this, and this. That's it. And then you're gonna put some of this on. Now I'll let you know how the shrimp came out. We will find that out, won't we? So, that is all you do. Now you're all set to go. You put this in the oven. Actually, use the timer. That's what I do. I use the timer on this right here for 15 minutes. So now the timer. I did it not show you. Well, the timer's right there. Anyways, so now what I do is I can go about and do whatever while I'm waiting for it. Um, I put the butter bag. Make sure you put it in there. Blah, blah, blah. Put it back now, and then you don't have to deal with it later. Clean up your mess now, and then you don't have to deal with it later. So, prep did take kind of about, like, seven minutes. But that's because I wasn't going fast. <laughs> so, all together, your meal should be done in less than a half an hour. So... I am going to actually go clean the bathroom while I'm eating for my dinner, and then I will have you join me when it's done. Alright? 15 minutes. I'll be back. Hey guys, so I am finally, I think, done. I'm going to take this out. I tried to do this video before, but my phone, my camera died. Not died, but it, it, um, it had no more memory, so I had to delete some of this stuff. So now some of this stuff isn't quite warm. So I'm going to heat that up for a minute. About 30 seconds is fine. Actually, if that's the case, yeah, let me do it for, let me do that for 30 seconds. So while I'm doing that, bring it down here. There you go. It's like some new one, so. So, what you're going to do is you're going to do this again. Put a little bit more in there. Then you're going to put some of this in there again. And now I'm just waiting. So that looks good. So now this is going to go in for 30 seconds now. And by doing this, you make it so you don't actually eat as much, um, s um, eat as much, um, sh uh, sal uh, salt in the butter. So, so now I'm going to uh, turn this off. I'm going to add these to my plate. This looks delicious. I don't have warm shrimp very often, so see how it comes out. I'm gonna still take the shells off. 
There we are. That's done with that. And now again, you're going to mix this as you can. And now you're going to spread this over this. Sometimes I like, um, believe it or not, I like sour cream on this, but I'm going to try and eat it with it. So, well, that's it, guys. I'm going to go eat. So, if you guys like this video, don't forget to... Uh, here we go. Mm. Well, whatever. Anyways, if you guys like this video, don't forget to like down below. Feel free to leave me any comments. It is delicious, so try it. You have no salt in it except for the butter. So, again, if you guys like this video, don't forget to like down below. Feel free to leave me any comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you guys back here the next time.